Hands down, one of my favorite uses for Tonex when doing tone model captures is to get creative and use two different complementary amps and capture them combined and blended into one tone model to get the best of both worlds from each of these amps that I have chosen. I call this series the Tone Kitchen series, meaning that I'm in there kind of blending these amps together to get sounds that otherwise wouldn't be possible going through one of the amps. And as you can imagine, and the sky is the limit. I'm on volume eight of my series and I get a lot of questions about this series and how I go about doing this. There is a lot more to creating these tone models, but I did want to take you on a quick rundown of my setup to actually capture these tones and then show you my latest addition to this series, which is going to be a combination of my Marshall Studio JTM combined with one of the newest amps in my collection, the Sir Ombre. And I found that both of these amps, taking that early Marshall tone combined with the Fender brown face tone, combining those together to get the best of both worlds of both of those amps turned out really nice. And I will let you hear both in and out of the mix my Ombre 45 Ultimate Collection, which is volume eight of my Tone Kitchen series. The link is below if you're interested and you want to grab those tone models. But without further ado, let's get into talking about exactly how I do this and how these sound. First, what I want to do is come over to the standalone Tonex app, and you'll see here that I have the tone models from this collection, the Ombre 45. So that's the combination of the Sir Ombre and the Studio JTM from Marshall. And I got to say, these were really nice complementary amps to blend together. But we're not going to look at this right now. We're going to actually head over to the Modeler tab. So basically, I'm set up much in the way that I would be set up when doing a normal tone model of one amp. So we come to our Modeler screen. I'm going to flip through this. I'm going to choose guitar. I'm going to choose amp and cab as the type of capture I'm going to do. Now, when I come to this section here, the audio setup and rig connections, what I want to do is choose my audio interface choose my outputs like I normally would. And I've covered this in other videos. I'm going to go into my number one input on my audio interface. And this is not actually the interface that I use to do captures, but it is what is hooked up to this computer at the moment. So it's going to be the same regardless of what you're using here. And I'm going to use the line out three to send to my reamp box. Now you might wonder, how are we getting two amps into this? As you see, we only have one line out. Well, this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to take this line out three from my audio interface, send that into my reamp box, which is going to be dialed in to give me the perfect output as I've talked about in other videos. And I then go from that into a radial big shot ABY box, which is going to allow me to take one input into the ABY box and then send that split signal out to two different amps. It also has a couple foot switches on it that allow me to have either each of the amps on by themselves or to combine them. And that's ultimately how I'm going to do that. Now I've measured my signal coming out of all this to make sure that everything is giving me exactly what I want coming out of it. So basically you're going to have an extra step here after the reamp box. I'm going to go in here to the ABY splitter box, which is then going to send it to my two amplifiers. Then I simply mic up both amplifiers separately. And there's a lot to take into consideration here and getting the balance between these two, right? So they sound in a manner that I would like them to. And that's where the extra time comes in is getting that set up and getting the balance right. It is a little more time consuming, but I have microphone one, which will be on one of the amps, and I'll then return that to whatever input I need on my microphone preamps. And obviously I'm just choosing random inputs here, as this isn't important at this point because you're gonna have to choose this on your particular setup. But once I have that, then I'm ready to basically come in and capture. So I can come over to this screen where I have my two input levels now, and this is where where I want to make sure that I've blended these mics properly. Not only can I blend them by setting the levels on the respective mic preamplifiers that each of those amps are going to use, but I can also use my blend control here to blend more or less 
between the two different amplifiers. So there is a little bit of trial and error involved in these, but I think the results are quite nice and I've had great feedback from those who have grabbed any of the tone models in the Tone Kitchen series. So let's go take a look and a listen to my latest Ombre 45 collection, which as I've already mentioned is a combination between my Marshall Studio JTM and my new Sir Ombre amp. And we'll hear how following this method that I just showed you comes together and sounds when combined. So now that you understand how I set this up, here is the finished product. So you'll notice here that I have my naming convention, JS Ombre 45 Ultimate, and I have clean push one, push two, OD one, and OD two. So with all of the Tone Kitchen Tone Model collections, I try to do five nice tones, basically going from clean all the way up to kind of the highest level of overdrive that the combination of whatever amps I choose can get to and sort of bringing up the gain level in between, you know, clean to push one to push two, OD one and OD two. And I'll take you through these tones with some different guitars so you can see how nicely they work regardless of the guitar I'm using. So basically these tone model captures, I've added a little bit of room reverb, the amp and cab is untouched, a little bit of post compression, barely anything at all and mostly just used to balance the volumes and I have the noise gate on and that's basically it. Uh, as you can notice, all the controls are flat. So what you're hearing here is basically just as they were captured. So here I'm with my Gibson 335 five on the bridge position here is the clean tone go to the neck pickup position. Moving on to push one, next level of gain on the bridge position. That's where you start to hear a little bit of the character of the two amps come through. A little edge of breakup. position. So really nice stuff. Moving on to push two. Nice, a little more drive, neck pickup. And middle position. Moving on to OD1, back to the bridge position. position. Finally, OD2 back to the bridge.
Let's check this out with some single coil pickups. Here I have my Sir Classic T guitar. We'll go back to the clean tone, start on the bridge pickup. I really try to get my tones to work so that regardless of the guitar we're going to use, they're going to sound great. We don't have to worry about tweaking things too much, if at all, when switching guitars. And that's why I also set my input trim. So it's gonna give me enough headroom for all these different guitars as well. So you should be able to use these regardless of guitar and get some beautiful tones. I'm over on the neck position now. and middle position. Moving on to push one. Neck position. And middle. Moving on to push two, we'll go back to the bridge. Neck position. And middle position. Go back to the bridge and we'll head over to OD1. Neck position. And middle position. And moving on to OD2, back to the bridge. Really loving the way that those amps blended together for this tone. Neck position. And middle position. And let's move on finally to some P90 pickups. So here I'm on my Gibson Les Paul Jr. single P90 in the bridge. Moving on to push one. One. 
So there you have it. Those are the volume eight of my Tone Kitchen series, the Ombre 45 Ultimate. The link is below to those tones if you like what you heard, but I did want to answer that question at minimum today of how I go about capturing two amps and blending them. There's obviously a lot more to it than I can go into in any video, but that's my basic methodology and some of the extra equipment that I use to actually complete the captures. I really like the way it turns out and it gives us kind of endless possibilities. If we have a nice amp collection, we can grab grab amps that we think would be complimentary, mess around with them until we're happy, capture those, and have a pretty unique tone model that's going to be very unlikely anybody else is going to capture in the same manner. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. I'm going to leave you today with the full-blown, in-the-mix demo video for my Ombre 45 Ultimate Collection. Again, the links are below if you want to grab those. It also helps to support my channel, and I do appreciate that very, very much, and I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. I'll be back very soon with some more. Ciao for now.